Welcome to Give Mythical More. Uh, you may know a lot about video games, so you might find it amusing that, that we, don't. we don't. Or if you don't, then you might relate to us, because we don't. So when we look at the covers of video games now, and react to them, and do what? Guess what they are? Guess what they're called? Guess what well, they're, they're very, well, I, to my understanding, obscure video games. I also am not a video game person, but I've never heard of any of these. And oh, okay. we have blanked out like pieces of the title. So you're you're filling in words to these okay. video game titles. Oh, exciting. Here we go. But well, how about first we uh, check our voicemail? All right, boys. I need this one favor. We're all dependent on you. The world may end if you don't do this favor. Name five countryside dishes that were at your grandma's barbecue. Thank you, boys. Peace. This name, is a challenge? Name five country side dishes. I don't know how I feel about this voicemail. Because <laughs> this is getting us to do something now. I feel like we might need to just boycott this this whole um, exercise. Well, fried okra. Oh, so you're going for it. Okay. <laughs> beans. What kind of beans? Baked beans. Baked beans? Baked beans, but also black eyed peas. Uh, I'll say field peas, because that's even more country. Uh, but that's I'm, I'm sticking with beans. I'm going with... Butter beans is what we called them. Butter but it was beans, just baby, yeah. baby lima beans. Yeah. Oh gosh, those were so good. Were they baby? Because butter beans are like bigger. They're not uh, baby. Well, so we called what you see as baby lima beans. At least in South Georgia, they called those butter beans. They were the small version of what I would call just a, li a lima any bean. Any lima is like bean. that is like any that lima. Big. We never said lima for anything. It was always butter bean. Um, they're so good. Of course, it's always mashed taters, if you call them taters. I guess the world is gonna end if we, uh, I think is we that got five? there. Is that five? I think we got there. So this is our first one. PlayStation 2 game, Snow White and the blank, blank, blank. This is a PlayStation 2 game. Snow White and the, are, are the blank widths indicative of the word lengths underneath them? Yeah, somewhat unintentionally, but. But there are three words under there? There are three words, yes. Snow White and the blank, blank, blank. There's a, that's a, that is, this is a creepy rendering. This is like very rudimentary. Look at the witch back there. I mean, good gracious. Snow White and the, Okay, I'm mean, just going off context clues here. It says it's for, is that in the lower left? It says it's for ages three and up. Three and up. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that definitely seems works with my really answer. really creepy to me with just the artwork going on. All right, go ahead, Rat. I said Snow White and the Big Cheek Dwarves. Oh wow, we actually agree with one of the words. I my first word is also big. Oh. But I said Snow White and the big job opportunity. I don't think that's right. No. I don't think I'm right either. No. I was about to be like, well the part you got right was Snow White and the, but that's the part you can see. <laughs> yeah. Uh you know, cuz Snow White wanted you... to have a, a job. It's like uh she's, ta she's taking an apple to the job interview. Okay. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, Stevie, what's I, the real answer? You you just want me to give it to you? You don't want to? Oh no no! Give us a context. Give us a clue. Um, it it appears as if they're trying to maybe skirt the IP. Um, although I don't, I don't completely oh, understand. Snow White and the Seven Little Guys. You're on the right track. In the Seven Little Men. The two little men. Oh. It's seven. It's seven. Oh. And the seven small people. And the seven trolls. And, and the, the seven, seven little small seven we the seven wee boys. The okay, boys. Yeah. You got the, boys. The seven little boys. Boys? The seven old so boys. In this, the, the middle word doesn't really make sense. The, the seven, seven clever boys. Oh, clever, clever boys. boys. <laughs> clever boys. Clever boys? Yeah, it's a compilation of mini games. It uh, was released oh, in those. 2006. 
Uh, connected to the seven clever boys attempting to wake Snow White from her poison apple-induced slumber. Mm -hmm. One critic had this to say, this is terrifying. Seven clever boys. The graphics were great back then. Nintendo DS has brought us Touch. Big blank. This, why is there no graphics at all on this? Because this is a DS game. No, that's not why. There's no pictures. Well, it's a 2005 and then DS there's, game. So that would have been, it would have been a black and white game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Black and white game. Touch. Right? That's a big blank. But it's one word? It's one word and it's interesting that it's such a big blank. Okay, that feels... That's a hint, huh? Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm going to draw it in the way that I think it fits in that space. Oh, you just said my answer. I think it's touch it. Oh, I think it's touch me. <laughs> Wait, why? What about my clue of it? It's interesting that it's so big. Lends itself to me and it. Two letters. Two letters. Two letters. Mm. No, there's more behind my. My clue. Oh, okay. So state your clue again. It's oh, it's, it's interesting. It's such a big blank. <sighs> it's interesting that it's such a big blank because it's probably a small thing. Yeah. Touch clever boys. I mean, boys. in some people's cases. Maybe the people writing the like, cases. Touch mice. Touch. <laughs> That'd be a fun game. Cause you know, you're always wondering if you should touch them when you see them. Uh, you know what? I'm not really using your hint, but I think a great game would be Touch Time. We need another hint, Stevie. Um, this is a Korean-made game, so I think that there might have been a misunderstanding with what this word means in Western countries. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Or at least a form of this word. Okay. So like that? Touch balls. You're very close. Touch. How close? Just under? <laughs> Think opposite. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, I get it. Well, how do I, I can't say that. Well, you can say it if you do like this, if you clarify. <laughs> what did you say? Mm, I don't understand how that's. Oh, you said below, and I said opposite. <laughs> I just did a cat, dude. Touch kitty. Kitty. Uh. All right. Final answer. Kitty. Final answer. But. How is your butt on top of your balls? He's upside down. He's doing a handstand. If I bend over? Well, that, I guess, I mean, no, let's, uh, we can reveal it. Touch these. <laughs> Touch these. I don't think that the, I said on top of and you said opposite. Dees. Oh. No, I, you said below. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opposite. I meant that the, the when you said you're close, I was saying I'm below, but you were saying no, it's above. Okay, I understand. So what is that? This what is the was a uh, it's short for touch dictionary. <laughs> it offers translations to and from English, Japanese, and Korean, and then and so it was renamed <laughs> to Touch Dictionary after it was released, and they understood. Uh, yeah, right, why that right, wasn't. Right, right, Dick right, is right, not short good. for dictionary. Wow, that's wild. It sounds like a really fun game, though. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Imagine if you could touch your dictionary. Blank divinity. Any Create page. your own destiny. Boy, she really skimped on her top, but she spent a lot of money on those boots. Divinity is addictive. Open-ended and enormous fun. Mm. Is that blood it's a all blood, over it's the... A, it's a bloody sword. 
Divinity. And it had to make okay. the cut to be on our show, Link. And to think about it like that, you know. It's gotta be funny. Okay. The weird thing is, in 2012, PC Gamer named it one of the top 100 PC games of all time. Yeah, based on the name alone. I mean, Dick Divinity, everybody was standing in line for that one. Well, interestingly, I was thinking Duck Divinity. It's kind of like Duck Dynasty. It's kind of like Duck Dynasty. It's just a little, it's just a little different. Are we little wrong? Different. Tell, tell me we're wrong. No, it's Duck. No. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how divinity. Give you a I don't want to write clue. any more down. I'm it's just redundant. Um, is your clue? Divine divinity. Yep. yep. Divine divinity. Divine divinity. Create your own destiny. Well, that's the best kind of divinity. Is the it's divine a ones. role-playing game released in 2002 that chronicles your journey as the chosen one to unite seven races of Re- Revelon. Re- Revelon. Revelon. It was a it was a Revlon <laughs> yeah. sponsored game. Uh, and prevent the birth of the Lord of Chaos. You have to put a condom on the Lord of Chaos. Prevent the, on the birth? On the father of the You have Lord to prevent the birth of something? Wow. I mean, that's every parent's problem. <laughs> right? Just call it parenting. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see another one. <laughs> Y'all want to see another one? War blank. War Woman. War Woman. In this title, it's technically it's one word, but the first part of the word is war. Warren. War. War Girl. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> warning, yeah. You mean like that? What did you say? Like warning. What about war? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warbler. It's, well, I would say it's it's a Warder. a mashup of two words. Warman. You know? <laughs> warman. Yeah, a sure. war woman is a warman. That's, yeah, you're, yeah, exactly. You're on the right track. War gal. That feels great. <laughs> a bunch of guys in a room coming up with a name for a war gal. Uh, war lady. She, she, she wore. War she. Warsaw. War. 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 War bitch. War. Give us a letter. G. War god. You saw War again, it's, it's, a, it's a part of a word. It's War gams. A- Mm, Wargasm. Wargasm. There we go. Yeah. Yes. That. Wargasm. That's it? <laughs> oh, yeah. 1998, set in a future where the world's military forces have been transferred to the World Wide War Web <laughs> to uh, prevent lives from being lost. Yeah, but what is the what is the gasm part? Where does that come in? I don't know. We've got to find out. Put it in. I just think it's just. She's got a big cargo pocket down there. It looks like she's got a book in it. Is there a book in her cargo pocket? No, she's got her dictionary in there. <laughs> she touches it on a regular basis. Oh gosh! Oh, before, before, all right. before, before, before we, we test get this, to American Girl, we got to talk about all of our all of our podcasts. We recorded a bunch of podcasts at Mythicon, uh, and they're all out. So check them out this week. They were each special. And distinct from what you would normally expect, yet within the same realm of expectation, just live, just live, and have, they all have a special energy. So whether you're checking out Ear Biscuits, where we get asked questions uh, that we've never been asked before, or Trevor talks too much, where Shane and Courtney from SMA show up, or um, a hot dog is a sandwich, where Josh and Nicole, uh, they debated breakfast burritos versus breakfast tacos. They did. And um, you got dispatches, where my dad and I were in the same place doing a podcast for the first time. It was very special. There were tears. And uh, best friends back, all right. Uh, I'll Stevie just go, I mean, here it says. awkward moments. Yeah, that doesn't, that's not even the thing. We, we. Uh, I thought you were rating people's awkward moments. 
Um, most embarrassing. embarrassing stories. Oh yeah, embarrassing, yeah. St- awkward moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, check them out. Um, just uh, search for the names of the podcast wherever you can search for podcasts. American Girl, Julie Blank a Blank. Is she pole dancing? What's uh, happening? I believe here? that's a bed. Oh, but she might be pole dancing. I don't Julie, know. Julie, practice a pole dance. It could she- be just grab a pole. Grab a pole. It could be grab the grab a bed. Julie grabs a bed. <laughs> Julie, grab a tight. Grab. Gra- um, Julie, she looks like she just went to on a, like a Caribbean vacation and got one piece of hair braided. Julie, okay. I'm confused sn- about the a braid. Um, top. Like, is she wearing like a clear rain? Jacket over a purple, s- like what? No, I think it's, it's like a white of... thing with a design on it over like a mock turtleneck. And then the like the whoever did the Julie Photoshop just kind of added a smoky background to it to make her look mysterious. Julie, cop a feel. Oh God, blank a blank. It's, is it a verb? Is it a verb? The first blank. Yes, Julie. Lo- Stretch love a sheet. Try a thing. Try a thing. <laughs> Julie stain a uh, does a mattress. Thing. Carney just let me know that Julie, the char- the American girl character, is a Cape Cod fashionista. Is how to describe. <laughs> Julie design a dress. Catches a fish. S- Julie steal a diamond. Cash is a check. Julie receives a life sentence. <laughs> Buys Very a pony. Close. Buys You're, a pony. Yeah, all, all really great guesses. But it's Julie commits a crime, a murder. She looks like she's got a murder. Julie in her murders a squirrel. <laughs> there we go. Julie finds a way. Julie finds a way. Julie finds a way. Well, she looks like she would find a way. I don't understand. The game is Find a that way to what? Uh, it's released in 2001. Follows nine-year-old Julia Albright as she grows up in 1975 America. She's finding a way. She's finding her way in life. Stevie. Yeah, it's, it's a coming of age. We all story. have to do that. But I'm saying, like, what's the video game? I don't know. 1975, Cape Cod, looking for the way. Mm. Like putting like shingles on things. I think she's in a maze, I guess. It's probably just that. Enjoying lobster dinners. Big Mother Truckers 2. Truck, Truck blank blank. Love Debbie XOXO with the low rise denim panties. Okay. She got a zipper on them britches. There's a, there, a there's a lot to like about this one. <laughs> Come on, man! Don't be. I'm just. I'm just taking be, myself don't back be to old, man. the year when I would have seen this. What Big year was this? mother truckers. What year? Uh, 2002. Oh well, okay. I was already. I was already a married uh, adult man. So we got I was thinking I was going wheels. back to my teenage years. Um, Hell on wheels, chicken critters, coming through. Ma, so Ma's in prison. Debbie. Debbie. Truck, my dictionary. Uh, truck, truck, truck and, no. It's the second one, so it's like, truck it one, truck it again. Truck it even harder. Oh, now, see, because tr- it, truck it harder it's is good. big mother truckers, so it's like. You're on the right track. Is it, is it, it's not truck it, it's truck me. Truck me. Truck me. Truck me, truck me harder. Yes. Yeah. Wowzers. Wow. So okay. what's the rating on it, this, 16 uh, plus? It tasks players with purchasing goods in one town and then hauling them to another well, that's what you gotta to do. sell for a higher price, all to raise enough money to hire a lawyer to, to get, get Ma, Ma out of off prison. the hook for tax evasion. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. Julie, all grown up. 
Julie found her way. <laughs> Check out all of our mythical podcasts recorded live at Mythicon. So special.